Ode to Neely. I do not know where to start. A very special thank you seems a loss for words. But a thank you is an order for correcting my grammar. At the dinner table, it was so educational to be told what cutlery to use for the salad. You can call me an asshole for writing these words, but my name is not extra baggage, nor should any child be referred to as such. I am the son who slept in a tent behind City Hall less than a year after his death when you rented out the cottage. I will not lie, it did come as a shock to find out at his funeral that he married you two months before he died. It must seem a little weird that none of his children attended the wedding ceremony. It might seem stranger that the mother of his three children, who he was married to for 18 years, got nothing. It might seem odd that you inherited all his investments, retirement, pension, properties, tools, clothes, photo albums, and still... You asked each of his children for $2,500 to help towards funeral expenses. We all gave. Why not? We were young and stupid. But this is not a poem, and these are not esoteric words out of Macbeth. There was no love, no murder, no betrayal. I do not want anything from you. I only want you to read the following words. If you bury your body near my father's grave, I will dig your casket out of the ground with a pickaxe and shovel. Smash your tombstone with a sledgehammer and dispose of your corpse in a ditch, you fucking bitch. <laughs>